welcome class 8 as we all were looking forward to have an amazing year ahead i have set my goals for this new year what about you after a long year 2020 the worst in the history of human civilization with covid-19 pandemic that affected and killed so many people around the world after a short holiday break Here we all begin another year, two thousand twenty-one. So you all will promise to oneself to be responsible students and strive to make the best use of the time. I wish all my students happy New Year, happy learning, and stay blessed. Let's start with today's video, with our next revision number two. Here. Lesson number three and lesson number eight, both the lessons are included in this revision number two. Students, I also request all of you to complete your revision answers in a file sheet paper, and you are going to study accordingly. This exam, that is your first unit test, carries ten marks question paper. the question form format of the paper will be a multiple choice question that is in the same similar way and in an mcq type time tables are already given to you students please start studying seriously question number 1 mark tick or you put a tick mark in the box next to the right alternative dash is not an it center second one corporate social responsibility is compulsory for every industrialist who has made a profit of over dash options are given to you next third one dash type of clouds are indicators of storm options are given to you fourth one through dash the decentralization of industries is expected throughout the state options are given to you question number 2 state whether the following statements are true or false small and medium industries of a country are harmful to heavy industries options will be given to you in the paper question number 2 the amount of vapor in 1 cubic meter of air shows the condensation again two options will be given to you true or false you have to select any one third one book binding industry is an example of small industry fourth one industrial development is essential for improving the standard of living and increasing the per capita income of the citizens again two options will be given to you you have to click on any one correct option next question number 3 answer in one sentence first one explain any one factor affecting industrial development second one why is the air in a region dry third one mention one feature of small industries students let me remind you we can ask answer briefly or give reasons type of questions in the exam that doesn't mean that you have to type any answers the points will be given to you below out of those points if that question carries one mark one point will be correct where you have to put a tick if there are two marks then please read the things given in the bracket that you have to click any two points or any one point accordingly you will tick mark the correct options as per the marks given beside it i hope you have understood next question number 4 answer briefly explain the importance of the it industry next question number 2 what is a cloud write its two types question number 3 write the difference between agro based industries and information technology industries 
same thing over here students even though they are answered briefly questions will be asked in a similar way but options will be given to you including the points given in the answer accordingly you have to select the correct one fifth question give geographical reason the proportion of relative humidity changes according to altitude question number 2 give your opinion on the usefulness of corporate social responsibility again the same thing whatever points the teacher has given you in the notes those points will be asked along with some wrong points into it you have to select the correct one sixth question complete the following flow chart there are two flow charts given to you in from the same lesson that is industries so this is the one agricultural raw material that is cotton from cotton the thread the thread making uh, process goes on and after thread making there are two empty columns given here you have to complete the chart starting from the raw material till the finished products options for this flow charts will be given to you during your exam now students along with this revision you also have to compulsory study all the other exercise questions given in the notes don't only rely on my revision you have to study each and everything what is there in your exercise best of luck student for your exam thank you